In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite passing plays right now. This play can beat every defense in the game, and it's something that I like to go to whenever I need uh, just a simple play to be able to beat every defense. You don't need any route running abilities, uh, any route running uh, abilities, or any route chemistries to beat this. So you don't need outside apprentice, you don't need hot route master, you don't need any of that stuff, which is one of the other reasons why I wanted to, to uh, share this with you today. Uh, this is becoming, like I said, one of my favorite plays in clutch situations it's good against the blitz it's good really against everything now this comes to us out of the trips tight end formation if you want to get my full trips tight end offensive ebook make sure that you join our patreon i'm going to put a link to the patreon in the description of this video uh, down below for just ten dollars you can become a member there and get access to all of our mad 23 offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active so just ten dollars if you want to sign up for that, the link is in the description below. Uh, but I, you can do this out of any play in the formation, but I like PA kind of go the best because of the play action blocking. So the setup here is really actually fairly simple. Uh, and again, this is a quick hitting passing concept. So what we're going to do is we're going to out route our tight end. We're going to flat our middle trips receiver. We're going to in our outside trips receiver, and we're going to slant our backside receiver. Now, this in route on the backside, you can smart route that, or you can leave it as an underneath in route. That's up to you, okay? Um, and that's the setup right here. This is exactly what the play looks like. Um, you'll see with Darren Waller, he has, uh, I believe, short end, so you'll see here he's going to cook every single time. Uh, if you have short and elite on your tight end, which if you're running trips tight end, I would really recommend having that. This play becomes absolutely incredible. As you see right there, there's just this quick out against man is so good. Now, the other thing that we have on this play is we have this deep in route if we want to if we want to hit that as well. So you see there, there's the in route to a good receiver coming over the middle. Now, again, you can put this in route on a five yard. The five yard in route is fine. Um, I find that the smart routed in route does a little better job. Um, at kind of hedging our bat in case they want to come underneath um, heavy on their coverage. So, for example, let's say they're in zone and they shade underneath to try to stop all of our quick routes. What you'll see here is now that is open. I need a little bit better throw from Derek Carr right there, but that is wide open on the cut. So we'll show it to you again here. Um, and again, if you have set feet lead, you're gonna be it's gonna be a lot easier to make these throws. But you see right there. Now, you can still hit that on a five-yard in, and I'll show you that real quick. Um, but this this play literally can just break down every coverage really simply. It's very difficult to guard, and it's quick hitters. So, boom, there. No. And then you see over here that our flat is standing wide open. i got to throw that a little earlier. Um, but if they're going to shade underneath on their cover three, you have plenty of things that you can hit. You have this right there again Derek Carr is killing me but you see he's wide open right there I just got to throw the ball um, you know so again set feet lead quarterback is going to make this 10 times better um, I would recommend there's a lot of good set feet lead quarterbacks right now in ultimate team that you can actually get for fairly cheap but you'll see here right there that's what I was wanting to show you see how I can hit that in that little pocket so the beauty of this is like I said literally you can beat every coverage in the game um, let me show you cover four. You know, cover four. If they're not playing hard flats on that tight end, you're going to throw that out right every time. You see, I'm getting about seven yards. So this is, again, just a very simple play that's going to get you easy yardage against every defense in the game. Now, if they go hard flats out of cover four, it's going to be very similar to hard flats out of cover three. Your in route is going to be wide open to Devontae Adams. Another thing I want to show you is if you're going to play with some of them they're running like a stock cover three, this flat route is really good against any kind of curl flat. So you see here, curl flat sucks in. I can throw that flat route, and you see again we're getting about 7 to 10 yards um, if we have an ability to run the ball uh, after we catch it. Now the last coverage we're going to show you here is cover 2. Now cover 2, in my opinion, is going to do the best job. Um, it's, it's equipped to do the best job, uh, but you're still going to have openings. So you'll see here the slant. I gotta throw that just a little sooner. But the slant right when he comes over the middle is a really good read for cover two. Now, um, obviously, if they're using the middle of the field, uh, you might want to wait on this slant. But what you'll see right there, that's gonna be wide open. 
Okay. So what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to basically use her the slant um, to tip that way. So if you look here on the left, this vert hook will only cover this guy for so long. So you can throw this kind of right in that little window right there. And there's another window that you can hit this slant. Most people, honestly, though, especially against trips tied in this year, they're not going to be running cover two. Okay, I'm just telling you from my experience, cover two is a really bad coverage against trips. Um, but you'll see here that in route right in that little window. So if they go with the slant, then you're gonna you're gonna hit the in route. Now if they don't go with the slant all the way across the field, which they have to, let's say they don't, um, then you're gonna see this right here. You're gonna see the flats are going to suck down, and then I'm going to have that little slant right in that back pocket right there. So, again, this play just breaks coverages uh, really, really well. Really, really well. Okay? Um, another thing you can do if you wanted to, this is kind of a fun little variation, is you can motion this guy over on a streak. Of course, we know how good streaks are this year, so if you are getting a cover two, you motion this guy over on a streak. And you can kind of throw this here, try to make an ag if you want to try to mess around with that. Um, another thing you could do, though, is you could go to verticals. And this specific um, route now, you see how it has this little stem to the left side? So what you'll see is he'll get kind of over. Well, I don't know why it didn't right there. He'll get kind of over the cover, too, and he'll get into this really soft spot of a cover, too. So if you're ever getting a lot of cover two, and again, it's kind of a specific cover two, they have to kind of shade underneath to make it stop these underneath slants and ends. Um, but what you'll see here is this little pocket right there. Again, Derek Carr doesn't have the velocity to get that there, but if you have any good set feet lead quarterback, that's going to be just fine for you. But, you know, this core concept, like I said, it's, it's won me so many games lately. Um, this has been my go-to play. If I ever need a couple quick yards... Five, you're going to almost guarantee yourself five to ten yards uh, on this play. You have great protection from your running back, and you just see how fluid of a read and easy of a read this is. So, thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and again, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.